Hello. On behalf of the Missouri Department of Natural Resources and Division of State Parks, I welcome you to the annual public information meeting for the Missouri State Museum and Jefferson Landing State Historic Site. I'm Tiffany Patterson, Director of the Museum and Site. And I'm here to provide highlights of our activities for the past year and some of our plans for the future. We welcome you to provide input on all of our plans and activities. Missouri State Museum opened in 1919 in the East Wing of the Capitol as the Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall. Two years later, the Missouri General Assembly created the Resources Museum in the West Wing. In 1923, the two combined to become the Missouri State Museum. Management of the museum changed many times through its history. It has been part of the Missouri Department of Natural Resources and Division of State Parks since the 1970s. Jefferson Landing, an historic riverboat landing, was saved from demolition by efforts of Elizabeth Rozier, the Cole County Historical Society, and many supporters statewide. Opened as a state historic site in 1976. It is now home to museums, summer concerts, and the offices of the Missouri State Museum. The museum team strives to be an asset to our community and the state by connecting people with the state's history and culture through tours, exhibitions, interpretive social media posts and monthly programs, outreach activities, and traveling trunks, and of course, Our location in the Missouri State Capitol gives us an amazing opportunity to connect with visitors through interactions at our museum information desk and in the galleries and on Capitol, Capitol tours. In fiscal year 2024, we shared the history of the Capitol and the state on tours with more than 25,000 people from Missouri, the United States, and around the world. For more than a decade, the museum has been hosting monthly museum or landing after hours programs. These programs provide an opportunity for our staff to share their passion for Missouri's history through unique topics and for us to introduce the community to historians who are helping us increase our understanding of the rich history and diverse cultures of our state. Applications for these programs can be found on the museum's Facebook page and at moststateparks.com. If you are unable to attend in person, most presentations are also live streamed and archived on the museum's Facebook page. Follow us to keep up to date on events and interpretive posts on the site and state's history. In addition to our monthly programs, museum staff have been partnering with Jefferson City Parks and Recreation, Teaching American History, Osher Lifelong Learning Institute at the University of Missouri, and others to present outreach programs for children and adults both in person and virtually. If you are interested in having our team present programs at your event or meetings, please contact us at education.statemuseum at dnr.mo.gov or call us at 573-751-2854. Teachers, homeschool groups, fellow museums, and other institutions benefit from the museum's traveling exhibit and traveling trunk programs. We currently have trunks covering 11 Missouri history and natural resource related topics. These can be loaned to educators, organizations, and other members of the community. We also have six traveling exhibits that can be popped up in libraries, museums, churches, or, or even shopping malls and shopping centers. All of these can be borrowed by schools or organizations throughout the state at no cost other than transportation. We often update our trunk and exhibit offerings, so to learn more and see what's new, visit our educational resources page on the mostdateparks.com website. Exhibitions are the heart of any museum. Our exhibitions are not static. Long-term exhibits benefit from artifact rotations to share new information and encourage repeat visitors. We also develop short-term exhibits, such as this one, highlighting Missouri's traditional and fine arts. This is the museum to see what's new. The museum is open seven days a week. Weekday hours are eight to five. Weekend hours are eight to four. We're also open most holidays, except Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's Day, and Easter. 
we understand that many people, especially children, learn by doing. At Jefferson Landing, we, we've updated exhibits to be more interactive and to challenge visitors to become history detectives. Those wanting a casual visit can still learn about the site through interpretive panels and films. Those wanting a more interactive experience to, can learn more about the landing by digging up clues of the site's history through primary resource challenges. There's also time to play with toys of the 1850s, challenge a friend to checkers or chess, or just relax on a bench and watch the train pass by. The landing is a great place to learn, but also relax and play. In 2015, we began our monthly summer backyard concert series. This annual series welcomes the community to relax and enjoy music on the lawn. This year, we started our Fun Day Fridays. During the summer, we break out our lawn toys and invite families to relax and play checkers, cornhole, or the kids' favorite, filled with our giant phone box. The museum offers an array of exhibits and programs, but a lot of work also goes on behind the scenes. The museum has a collection of over 35,000 objects. Some are on display and the rest are in storage at our Riverside Collections facility. The facility provides climate controlled storage to help preserve artifacts for future exhibition and research. These items don't just sit in boxes. Our team researches the artifacts and the people who donated them so that we can improve our interpretation and understanding of them. We also work to increase access to these artifacts, even if they are not currently on display. Photos and information about some of our collections, including the Civil War flags, World War I era flags and artifacts, and some of our photo collections are accessible online to researchers and historians through Missouri Digital Heritage and other outlets. We continue to conserve artifacts for future exhibitions also. In the past year, two World War I era flags were sent to the conservator and returned. These will soon be featured in our memory cloth exhibit in the museum. Currently, the Midwest Art Conservation Center in Minneapolis is conserving one of the museum's mastodon tusks. Conservators are working to remove past failed repairs, consolidate the tusk, and prepare a mount that will properly support it during storage and exhibition. Visit the museum later this year to see the conserved artifact in person. This is a very exciting time in the history of the museum and Jefferson Landing State Historic Site. In 2022, we began work with International Architects Atelier and stakeholders in the Capitol in Jefferson City to re-envision the museum's galleries and, exhib and exhibits. IAA created a conceptual design plan that will help the museum and its partners plan for renovations to the museum's galleries, lighting, and more. Moving forward these, with these plans will not only refresh the museum's galleries, provide additional opportunities to engage visitors and connect them with the rich history of the state. Planning continues this year and in July museum, the museum team met with Gallagher and Associates, an exhibit planning firm, to help us develop future exhibitions in the space. This project launched in July and we hope to offer opportunities for the public input in the near future. Jefferson Landing is also ready to launch a significant renovation project. In 2019, we closed Union Hotel due to structural concerns. The closure ensured the safety of our staff and public, but reduced our gallery space and ability to connect visitors with rotating exhibitions on the state's arts, cultures, natural resources, and history. The state of Missouri secured funding for the Union Hotel's rehabilitation, and this spring, we launched a planning process for the building and the site's future. Teaming with the Office of Administration, Amtrak, and other stakeholders, and benefiting from the expertise of Strata Architectural Preservation and their subcontractors, we launched the master planning process for Jefferson Landing State Historic Site and are in the process for developing plans for the rehabilitation of the Historic Union Hotel. If planning and construction go well, the Historic Union Hotel will reopen in 2027. Thank you for watching our 2024 virtual public meeting presentation. Please share this link with friends and family. We welcome your feedback. This video will be posted during the entire month of August. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out to us at 573-751-2854 
or email us at dspestatemuseum at dnr.mo.gov. You can also use the comment section to provide comments specifically on the Missouri State Museum and Jefferson Landing State Historic Site. If you have more general comments, you can also email moparks at dnr.mo.gov. Thank you to the state citizens who continue to support the museum and Missouri State Parks. The state parks and historic sites are supported by half of one-tenth of one percent park soils and water sales tax. This sales tax allows for free access to Missouri's 93 state parks and historic sites. Thank you for your support and comments. And remember, you are always welcome in Missouri State Parks. Remember, you are always welcome in Missouri State Parks.